In this episode of On The Fly, Gav has been raising both brown and rainbow trout to a large hopper pattern that he tied on first thing in the morning, and whilst looking a little worse for wear, was still doing the job. Now, sometimes what happens when you've been fishing for a little while or when you get a fish like that rainbow just then, it just soaks the fly with water. So what we're going to do is get that water out, otherwise it's not going to float. So I've got a thing here which is like a shake and float, which is um, a desiccant. And that, what that does, it's a powder form, put the fly in there, shake it about, pull it out, and that absorbs all the water uh, in these little liquid crystals there and makes it bone dry. So that'll float for ages now. So now we can cast that back up and we gotta watch the, uh, the other fish take it. Lovely little rainbow. <laughs> oh, and they just have plenty of going, and look at that. This one we can hold him up a bit so we're not down the rapids. Keep a nice tight line, we're all right. Man, they're fantastic. Rainbows. A little bit less curious than the browns. Tend to eat first and ask questions later. So uh, that's why you get some pretty good fit rainbows. You also get plenty that get eaten too, but this one, he'll just keep growing. Perfect. That's what it's like in these little rivers, they're great. You can have a couple of casts, and you're gonna know if there's a fish there, because they're very aggressive, so they'll come up and smack it. If they haven't done it within a couple of casts, you can move on. Go. Oh, and he's off. <laughs> but that's what it's about. Lovely little run. And again, a rainbow come up and uh, gave it a nice workout. <coughs> Beautiful. Now, it can be a bit daunting when you come into a fly shop and you see all these leaders and tippets. All you've got to really remember is your leader's got to be the heaviest down to your tippet a little bit lighter. So for example, you'd stick with uh, for a, a 3X leader and that's going to break it about eight pounds. You'd match that up with a 4X tippet. That's going to break it about six. It's a little confusing, but as the numbers tend to get higher, the breaking strain gets a little bit less. Make sure your tippet's going to be lighter than your leader and you're going to catch a lot more fish. Gav came to a perfect piece of water with good flow and good trout lies on either side. And casting into the slower water on the left of the run, it was no surprise that a brown was tempted out of his lie to eat. But with a serious log jam just downstream, Gav is forced to put the brakes on or face losing the fish to the snags. After coming up and taking the fly, Gav is forced to strike with the rod low to avoid getting caught up in the timber and then recover line quickly as the fish swims straight towards him and those snags. I'll give him a, uh, a way in a small little river like that. On a quarter pound. In a lovely little river. That's, uh, that's not a bad fish. Pretty happy with that one.
Sometimes if, if you find that uh, you're casting at fish and they're not taking your fly, you need to change it. When they keep taking it, don't change it. And that one's working all, all the time. So uh, that's a great fish, great fish. Back in. Perfect. Well, that's all we've got time for uh, today. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, it's something I think you've just got to do. Get yourself a light little rod, little reel, and some of these uh, little buoyant little little dries, and get up to the top of these little rivers. You have an absolute ball. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed today, and I'll catch you next week on the fly. <laughs>